Good evening, guys. This is Christine Austin Ill coming to you guys. It is um, Thursday, May 4th, 2017. And I just want to come starting out really just humbly thanking all the people that have been watching my video, those that have taken the time to send me either an email, a message on YouTube, or even called me. Um, I had a gentleman today who called me from my call video and he listened to my phone number and he reached out to me today and I'm just I'm just so grateful that I'm able to help even if it's just one person um, the three individuals I know off top really recently that has either you know reached out to me via phone or text message would be Monica from Philly she's actually in um, the miles group so love her we talk you know quite a bit now also um, Carmen Reese she just recently let me know that she's been listening to my videos and it's been helping her a great deal. So thank you for letting me know. And then today it was Angelo from California. So, hey, um, we had a great talk today. Uh, is, is it really unfortunate that even within Lincoln Heritage that there are a lot of agents that don't have direction? They are, you know, recruited in. They are given a rate book, the starter kit, and kind of like, you know, hey, go ahead and figure this out. And um, that's, that's, you know, that's kind of hard. I mean, I couldn't even really imagine that. I, I am with the Miles Group here in Pittsburgh. I'm now a hiring manager. And the information that we have, the presentation, the training that we have ongoing every Monday, I couldn't imagine coming into this opportunity and not having any direction, if you will, because I, I am one that came from corporate America. So those that have reached out, thank you. And I so humble. I'm so open. So any questions that you have, I'll be able to answer those for you the best that I can. Of course, each agency runs a little different. But as far as like the training, the product, it's all final expense. It's all the same. Lincoln Heritage is phenomenal. It's the number one final expense company in the nation. And they want us to come out. They want us to be successful. Um, they want us to make money, period. So um, again, I wanted to start it out with saying thank you for those that are following and paying attention. Um, every single day, I am one that I listen to clips, motivational clips. I am a self-motivator. However, I'm like looking at this one piece of hair, excuse me. However, um, I have a past, I have drama, I have issues mentally, just like anybody else. And within our agency, we're big to state that the product is easy. It sells itself. The work is hard because what's going in between these six inches right here? What's going on within your mind? What are you thinking about? What are you dealing with? Uh, what are you struggling with? Um, most of the time we're coming into this business broken, broken. And without a support system, without, you know, um, help, without understanding, without love, it is it's a challenge to make it in this industry. And thank God I've come into an agency where I have all of that. And um, what I want to do real quick is it's about seven minutes. If you have time, listen on. I think it would be worth your time. But this is one of the clips that I think is um, very powerful. It is called Don't Be Afraid to Fail, right? A lot of us are afraid to fail. Some of us are afraid to be successful, which is kind of crazy, but it's the truth. And um, this one here, it's very clear. It's to the point. And I'm allow you guys to listen to that. And it's about seven minutes. So listen in with me. You're here right now at this moment. Because tomorrow, you want to be somebody greater than the person you are today. You see yourself succeeding. You have a vision. You have a dream. Congratulations. You're already 10 steps ahead of 95% of the world. Imagine if Michael Jordan was scared of missing. He would have never taken a shot. Imagine if Steve Jobs was afraid of people not liking his product. There would be no iPhone. 
So ask yourself this. Do you want to be a person who fears failure? Or do you want to be a person who loves success? Which one? Because you're going to have to pick today. And I'll tell you one thing. One is a failure and one is a success. And if you love success, there is nothing that can stop you. All those negative things people say will mean nothing. They're going to talk about how only 1% make it to the top. Big deal. Want to know something else? Only 1% stick with that fitness program long enough to see results. Only 1% of nerds stick with that video game long enough to get good at it. Only 1% of relationships stick it out to the end. That doesn't mean you have a 1% chance. Yes. It just means you can't behave like the 99%. You'll have to do something better than giving up a month from now. Those are just numbers. You want to talk about numbers? Take a look around you and take a good look around you. Are you like 99% of the people around you? If you are, then you're in the wrong video, my friend. You have to love success just as much because that's going to allow you to get up and go for it. Being scared to fail won't do anything. In fact... When you love success and you start going for it, guess what happens? You're going to fail. You're going to fail 10 times, 100 times, maybe even 1,000 times. But that's okay. Failure isn't permanent. Yes. Falling isn't permanent. You get right back up and keep going. And this time, you're going to be stronger, wiser, and you'll be more driven than ever. And for every 10 failures, you'll land one success. You have to love success so much that you're willing to fail 10 times before you can succeed once. That's how a winner does it. I want to explain the biggest myth that most people think leads them to success. And here's the myth. You might believe if you're scared to fail, you won't fail. Lies. Biggest myth ever. And I believed it. You see, I always thought that being scared to fail in life would literally keep me from failing. I would look at the losers around me and I would say, sheesh, I never want to turn out like him. I really believe this train of thought would help me succeed. Until one day, I was walking down the street and I saw an old man. Had a hat, suspenders, and a cane. Was about 80 years old. This old man was barely walking. He could walk, but the cane helped a lot. He was struggling. So anyway, he was walking across the street and he ended up falling. So I went over to go help him. And he gets up, says thank you, and we introduce ourselves. Had a little conversation, told me his name, and I told him mine. His name was Robert, by the way. And right as he walked away, I told him, this is what I said. Robert, you should stay inside where it's safe, my friend. And Robert turns around and says to me, I love walking. And I love walking way more than I'm afraid of falling. Amen. So I ask him, well... What about your safety? Don't you want to live? And he told me this. These are the exact words he said. He said this. Solo, living means doing what you love to do. And if I had to fall here and there to do what I want to do in life, then so be it. And he just walked away. Never saw him again. That was it. But that statement really had me thinking. And it had me thinking hard because I learned something that day. That's when I realized the true key to success. You see, I always thought if I could just fear the act of failing, and if I fear it like crazy, I will succeed. Because I thought the fear would magically motivate me to get out there and start taking action. But after that day, uh uh, I realized something. I realize it's the love for success that will lead me to succeeding. So just
Just imagine if Robert feared falling. Would he even start walking? Of course not. He wouldn't even do what he loved to do. He would sit at home and take no type of action. But he loved walking. Wasn't even scared to fall. It gave him life. That's what allowed him to get up and do it. He loved walking so much, he was willing to fall 10 times a day just to do it. And you have to be the same. So the next time someone tells you, you're going to fail, do you know what you tell them? Tell them they're right. But you're not afraid to fail. You're not afraid to take action. You're not afraid to jump. You're going to fail 10 times, but you know what? It's cool. Because on the 11th time, you'll succeed. (laughs) Oh, you'll succeed, all right. And it'll feel good. And while you're over here living the life of your dreams and complete happiness, guess where they're going to be? That's right. There'll be failures, the real failures. Over there where it's safe, scared to fail. Ironic, isn't it? How awesome is that video, y'all? Absolutely amazing. At the end, it says, no man ever achieved worthwhile success who did not, at one time or another, find himself with at least one foot hanging well over the brink of failure. And that's Napoleon Hill. Isn't that awesome? Guys. And again, I wanted to play that clip because I think of those individuals that have reached out to me that are in different agencies. um, But they know deep down that this business is amazing. They know deep down that they are created for more and they just don't know what to do. Well, guess what? You're doing exactly what's necessary. In the beginning, I was constantly on YouTube. I was searching. I was researching. I was reading. um, I was studying and I was implementing the information that I that I found. And I just want to be one that every now and then when I'm able to, I want to send you guys some videos. Of course, some of them are crazy. Because I'm in the car. Most of my time, I'm in the vehicle. I'm driving, traveling, talking to people, loving on people. And in the pockets of my day, I'm pulling over and I'm making phone calls so that I can set appointments for that day or for the next day or a couple days later. But that's the, that's, that's the business. I have it scheduled. When I'm to be home with the family, I'm home with the family that was a struggle in the beginning. I'm getting better with balancing family time with business. Uh, I am one that can just work all day and then come home like, okay, you know, it, you know, I got a few hours, but thank God for my husband. He has definitely helped me in balancing that out, but even still making a great income, great income. And it's really not focusing on the money, but focusing on the people. Because this product is helping millions of people every single year. And they need us. So when you think about what it is that we do and the benefit that we're giving to families, guys, girls, the money will come. All right? So forget about the stressors. Go out and have fun. Call me if you need to. Um, If I'm not in the house and I'm not in the middle of training, I'm going to talk to you guys help encourage you the best that I can. My number is always listed and posted 412-609-6264. I am also hiring within the state of Pennsylvania, Indiana, Virginia, and Delaware. And my daughter wants you guys to know that she made this beautiful drink for me. Here is my 14 year old who has been in the field with me working for the past two days. That's my mini me. Water, lemon juice, strawberries. Very refreshing as she drinks it. Did you spit back in my cup? No. (laughs) I got a strawberry. You guys were about to see me become mom up in here. Um, But yeah, 
Now she's back in school. She was in between, in between schools for about a week and mom had to go to work. So yesterday she had a chance to see me write up how many applications? Like three. Three? Are you serious? I don't know. Babe, <laughs> we wrote three in the one house. Then we went to the other house. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> that was seven <laughs> applications. Okay. Yes. We wrote seven apps. She got in the car and was like, oh, is that all you do all day? Really? Anyway, got to love the kids, right? Love you too. So guys, good job in reaching out. Good job in reaching up. Don't talk to the people that aren't successful. Reach up to the ones that are. Because those are the ones that's going to help you get to the top. Don't give your dreams to those that don't believe because they will snatch them dreams from you. And God doesn't give the dreams to everybody. They gave it to you. So hold on to those dreams. Believe in it. Have faith and work as hard as you can because it takes hard work and a little bit of faith and you will make it to the top. Have a good evening.